Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. How are you this morning? I'm glad you're here this morning. I thank God that you are up and you are about and you're ready to hear his word. And Heavenly Father, we pray to you today, Lord God, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Lord God, to those who are listening. And they're in your word, Lord God, that you keep them safe. And Heavenly Father, uh, God in heaven, I pray that you bring your angels around me to protect me as I give your word today. Um, that there be no division, no misunderstanding of your word today, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for your protection, for your healing, and for us being here today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. And so today, y'all, okay, I have my... I have my tablet. Oh, not my tablet. Well, yeah. <laughs> I have my tablet. My tablet. Of course, that's my phone that I'm recording on. And then I have my MacBook. Oh, oh God. Okay, so, and this is what we're um, going to talk about out of today. Okay. And I don't know if you can see, but this is my blog. And it's called Clay Malo speaking the truth. Um, trying to see if I can. Well, you can see it right here. Clay Malo. No, it's on WordPress.com. But anyway. Anyway, I've had this. And this is an article from February 18, 2014. That I wrote. But I want to talk about this. And it's called Know Your Enemies. Okay. And we're in a spiritual war. Okay. Um, and we should know our enemies. We should know the people who do us wrong, who mistreat us, who don't, uh, who lie to us and all those things. So we should know our enemies. Some of the people that are our family members, we um, um, can also be our uh, enemies excuse me honey know your enemies spiritual warfare we are spirit being and we live in a body and we possess a soul the real person inside of us is our spirit and our soul consists of our mind our will and our emotions our bodies are obviously what we live in while we are here on earth how did demonic spirits vex and possess and control people in the Bible? It was through their souls and their minds as a mental illness and insanity. So that is how Satan, uh, demonic spirits, uh, possess and controls people through the mental illness uh, and insanity. In their bodies, uh, as in the woman who had the spirit of infirmity. Understand your authority as a children of a woman who had the... Uh, excuse me, Lord. Um, that is way off. Okay. Understand your authority as children of God. We are given authority over all powers of the enemy. Some people wonder why the demon seems to annoy them. Sometimes it's because the person doesn't have enough faith in their authority and a demon is strong enough to resist what little authority that person is exercising so if you're going through a lot in your life and um, things are just not going right uh, and you keep praying and trying to get the devil off and it's not it's because you don't have enough faith you got to have faith. You got to have faith in your authority. You got to have faith in God. You got to have enough faith to back the enemy out for you. And this is nothing easy. And this is nothing to play with. And I have trials. And I go through. But I keep on praying, people. And that's what we have to do. We have to keep on praying. We just have to keep on praying. Now, I'm not trying to make it sound like cookies and cream, but if you have enough faith in God, you're going to believe and you're going to just know that he's going to do, God's going to do what he says he's going to do. Um, and so, 
is because the person doesn't have enough faith in their authority and a demon is strong enough to resist what little authority that person is exercising. So what little authority you have, the demon is able to take that. The more faith in your authority you have, remember I just said that, the more of your authority you will be able to use. It is therefore important to understand and turn firm on the authority that God has given you. The Lord is raining and I hope that don't interfere in my recording. Religious spirit's purpose is to stand in the way of the spirit of God's word. Religious spirits hinder progress in churches. There's freedom in the Lord, not religious bondage. A person who walks in the spirit.